depending how long this goes, we may spin the wheel and play something else afterward. But we'll have to see how long it ends up being. And of, as always, let me know how the audio is. If it's too quiet, if it's too loud. We're only on the menu now, so. <clears throat> Wooly versus play play this. Hope you enjoy it too. I, ooh, vibe into the music. Cat lounge, cat cat lounge is. There is a cat lounge. I haven't gotten any. Oh. We're in the cat lounge now. <laughs> Interact F. Guys. 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 Guys, 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 guys. It's me! Guys! Guys, it's me! Look! Holy shit! They have a Siamese cat. I'm I'm sold. Wish list. Wish wish list. Exclamation point pet. Wish list. Oh my god, you're speaking Japanese. Nephew, this tea is excellent. Why don't you sit with me for a moment? Always in a hurry, you. You should focus your efforts on learning how to slow down. Enjoy these quiet, fleeting moments while they last. They will pass as all things do. Rash action is for the young. You'll learn that as you get older, or you won't get older. What a line, that's, cu that's cute. The impermanence of things. The samurai claim to understand this. The shogunate has spent the last 800 years convincing us that our lives are worthless. In some regard, this is true. How easy it is to take a life. One flash of the sword. Here a moment. Gone the next. How unlike life is to, is to gold the most precious of metals. The Rio never tarnishes, never ages, never dies. Compared to gold, how can such a frail thing as life be worth anything? By this logic, perhaps the samurai are right. Perhaps to die honorably is better than to live with dishonor. Hello, king. And yet they still carry their swords and wear their armor and build up great castles to hide from their enemies. Perhaps the shogun would reconsider his position if ever put to the sword, because no amount of gold can buy back a life once taken. Life is so terribly fragile, nephew. That is why we must protect it above all else. This really is very good tea, you know. I'm glad, uncle. I actually don't remember uncle in Japanese. Neko. Okay. Let's... No. Menu. Yeah. Thank you, Mayu. Alright, now let's actually full story. 10-15 to 15 minute full tutorial. Learn controls, enemy practice, whole story. Recommend for new players. Yes. Jo- Uncle Iroh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hiro. Hiro! Yamamoto Hir Hiroyuki! Ah, there you are, nephew. Getting a little carried away with Mokuso, I see. Some claim that with practice, they can use meditation to see the outcome to future events, but I'm not convinced. If I spend too long in Mokuso, I tend to fall asleep. Seeing as we're having trouble keeping your attention, perhaps you'd like to skip the rest of today's lesson and jump ahead to the final challenge. Press C to skip. No. I wish to attack, parry, jump. Flip. Parry and attack? Wait. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Interact, rest, cancel, pause, sprint. Sprint! Sprint! 
Oh my god, yes. Okay, let's continue. There are two stances, unprepared for movement and prepared for combat. Alright. While unprepared, move faster at the cost of attacking slower. Hold shift to sprint and tap the left click to slow attack. Press and hold left click to enter the prepared stance. While prepared, attack faster, lower your hitbox, and increase movement options at the cost of moving slower. While prepared, release! Ah! Hurricane! Araki, what the fuck? What were you playing? Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Hello. Welcome, everybody. If you... The, most people from Araki know who I am already. If you don't know who I am, though, I am Spoony the Spooky Cat. I generally play things that are creepy and wet and wacky and weird. This is none of those things. <laughs> I feel like every time I get raided, I'm like... So these are the kinds of games I play. I'm not playing that today. I'm playing an indie game, though, that is uh, coming out soon. You can type exclamation point pet in the chat to have Hiroyuki from this game pet a cat live on the screen and also get a link to the game that I'm playing, 1000 Cuts. And so you can wishlist it on Steam. Do it. I have variety. I have variety on my stream. I'm, I like to focus on indie games, being an indie dev myself. <laughs> Do it! Exclamation point pet! Do it! Do it! Okay, what was Areki doing? I need to know. I can't tab out. Thank you! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Also, thank you for the shout-out to Oreki. Guys, go follow Oreki. Oreki's good and also streams a lot of horror games. But actually gets a lot more scared than I do. <laughs> uh. Uh. But, Oreki, if you need to rest and relax, please, please go do so. And, um, wishlist this game on Steam. You are so stressed. What were you playing? Me. What were you playing? All right, lurk. Lurk before you tell me what you're playing. So scared today. Oh, Alien Isolation? I've heard that one's pretty scary. I haven't played that one. But every time- I had a- I had a co-worker that every time I mentioned a horror game I was into at the moment, he'd be like, Oh, you gotta play Alien Isolation. It's so much, so much scarier than that. And I was like, no, Resident Evil 7 is like really fucking scary, dude. Thank you for the follow. And he was like, no, man, Alien Isolation is the scariest game ever. And I'm like, okay. So it kind of turned me off from it. <laughs> uh, that game's not scary. But yeah, I just started this. This is 1,000 cuts. Press. Beep. 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 I love that. Anyway. If you successfully parry an attack, you have a short window to press left click to repost. How do you say that? If you manage to land a perfect parry, you have a much longer repost window. I am definitely saying that wrong. Leprechaun! Hi, Al. Hey, hey, hey Audi. <laughs> right, using the style, it only takes one cut to kill your opponent. Ten opponents will require ten cuts. One hundred ten. One hundred opponents will require one hundred cuts and one thousand. <gasps> you get the idea. <laughs> Nephew, it seems you've forgotten your bogu armor again, or could it be that you believe you don't need it? Me. Since you have already proven yourself against an opponent with a, a book in time and time again, perhaps we should up the ants a bit. Don't you agree? Up the ante? There we go. Up the ant. Ugh. Gentlemen, let's not pull any punches. Thank you for the follow. With my nephew today, why don't you try out that new batch of swords our blacksmith cooked up? This ought to be interesting. Hajime! Hajime! Kill. 
Cool. All right. Enough of that. Next. Hello. Kill. The <laughs> the impact sound is a little anticlimactic. That's the word. I don't think it should be too complex, but it sounds like somebody just threw something at my head. <laughs> Gosh, I love ants. They get hit once and they're like, oh. Bap! Ow. Thank you for the water. I will drink. And now for your final test, me! Why are you saying me? What do you mean? I mean, that is actually the technical... Hmm. What? Okay, what is the technical definition of uke? <laughs> what is... No! I think, I think... Okay. Uh, <laughs> or should I say uke? <laughs> Me- <laughs> I- Me- I think uke actually means something. Stop! <laughs> I think it means being the receiver. <laughs> but like- d Yeah. <laughs> so like, in fighting terms, it makes sense! But it's like a- it, You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying! Anyway, don't misunderstand me, nephew. I'm going to hold back when I strike. I do otherwise. To do otherwise would be disrespectful, you understand. Oh, it. Ah! He killed me. <laughs> uh, um... Do I have to explain what an uke is to to Sammy? Uncle uke. Very impressive, nephew. Very impressive. I haven't been knocked down like that since- I didn't even knock you down. Well, I was about your age. A little younger, maybe. I think perhaps, for now, you've learned everything I'm qualified to teach, at least when it comes to the sword. I've been saving some especially fine tea for this occasion. Unless perhaps the sake. <laughs> okay, I'm cool to discover. <laughs> Alright. So when two men really love each other, one is the pitcher, the seme, and one is the receiver, the uke. Anyway. <laughs> one is the top, and one is the bottom. And, and you know, yeah. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Why are you putting- why? 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 Why not just say bottom? It's a- it's a yaoi term. Do I need to explain what yaoi is? <laughs> to... uh, okay, we're never gonna finish this game. We're not- never gonna finish this demo. <laughs> Guys, you better wishlist this game after this conversation! <laughs> uh... I've been saving some especially fine tea for this occasion, unless perhaps the sake. No sake for me, thank you. Uncle, Sanjiro-sensei, I was hoping, if it's not too much trouble, I was hoping that you could teach me your famed suki thrust technique, the one you used to defeat Umezawa Togo. Time defeated Togo-sensei. Or, 
Yeah, not some cheap trick. But to answer your question, no, I cannot teach you the Suki thrust. Your famous <laughs> Uke Suki thrust. <sighs> Poultry knows what Yaoi is because of me. Am I gonna teach more people what Yaoi is? <laughs> No, Spoonie, I know what Yaoi is. I'm not that dumb. Okay, do you know what Yaoi stands for? It stands for... Well, this is a joke thing it stands for. It stands for Yamete o Shirigaite. Itai. I said it wrong. Uh, I think it's Itai or Itai. I, I think either one. Uh, I need to stop talking about these things. I'm trying to promote this game. I hope this is promoting it more. Go wishlist it! Exclamation point pet. <laughs> I cannot teach you it. But uncle, you said it yourself that... Well, you have demonstrated that you are a very powerful and competent swordsman. The Suki thrust requires much more than just raw strength. If used on the training grounds, even with a boken, even with bogu armu, uh, armor... Armor? What? I can't talk anymore. You guys have ruined me. Bogu armor in the wrong hands. It can kill very easily. Did Mupai not work? Shit. Me. Damn it. Hang on. Mupai, why aren't you working? Let me let me reopen it. It's been open all day. More this. Thank you for the triangles. Been watching Terminator Zero. Is fun and interesting so far far. Hope you get the chance to watch. Maybe. Maybe. You've broken me. You've broken me. Um, let me Stop throwing stuff at me. I'm gonna have this, uh... Let me- let me just put it directly into... There we go. Watch your drawings, what the fuck?! That's not even the right thing! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna explode, I'm gonna explode! I'm gonna explode! Sorry, we're having a little... Sh for some reason, I have two versions of VTS Pog on my computer, and one of them only retains one line from, like, three sh like, not- not even, like, two months- two months ago. <laughs> That spicy bar I put in there. Uh, anyway. Love can bloom on the there battlefield. Why do you think foot soldiers and mech pilots are so horny after battle? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. If you want to learn the Suki Thrust, you must first learn restraint. This is a quality that everyone in a family could use a little more of, no? But I... Perhaps we can talk about it another day. For now, the lesson is over. I'll see you at dinner, nephew. Asami tells me Chef Taro has prepared a fine batch of trout in Ayu. They're still your favorite, no? Oh. My phone is dying. Oh, my phone is dying. Stop dying, phone. No. Okay. Yes, uncle. Alright. Hiro, it's me. I'm coming in. Oh, that's... Lady. We missed you at dinner tonight. It's nice to eat with your family, you know. Here, take this. It's tea from the kitchen. Don't bother arguing. Drink it. You need to rest. Rumor has it you gave old Master Jiro a run for his money today. I know he's been different lately. Distant. Tougher on you. Expecting more. Could be it has to do with those rumors from the first castle. Takashi taken ill. It's his father, after all. Maybe a part of you thinks he doesn't care about you anymore, like he's taking his anger at your father out on you. But we both know that isn't true. Your uncle knows your ambitions reach far outside of the confines of this cramped little dojo, which they should. Perhaps you failed to consider the possibility that your uncle isn't protecting you from political opponents or martial art rivals, but from yourself. Like a sword out of its sheath, it cuts well, but a drawn sword can be just as deadly to one's friends as it is to their enemies. Put another way, I think you remind the old man of himself at your age. I knew him back then, you know. I worked at the first castle for Lord Umezawa of the Council of Heads. 
Back when young Jiro was just another hostage. That was before he... Well, before your family took over. But I've probably told you all this a thousand times before, anyway. You could say a thousand cuts! Drink up that tea now, young Master Hero. Get some rest. Hero. Hero! And we'll see you tomorrow morning for breakfast then, right? Right. Rest. Ah. Who are you? So the rumors are true. Even in the first castle we hear about what a fine swordsman you've become, little Hiro. Not so little anymore, are you big brother? And what are you supposed to be? Some oni sent to torment me? Save the jokes. I don't have much time and we have a lot of lot to talk about. Let me guess. Our father has lifted the exile. I'm innocent and free to return home. You need new material, Michiko. It was funny the first time. Hiro... Play... <laughs> Pay attention. Our grandfather is dead. Assassinated in the first castle by Kuroko Shinobi. The Shogun sent his own investigators. They identified a single suspect. The court found him guilty. You might find this hard to accept, but it's the court's determination. Yamamoto Sanjiro, the eldest son of Daimyo Takeshi, Takeshi and first in line of succession, is guilty of murder. Sentenced to death by beheading or honorable Harakiri. Is it supposed to be our? It might be supposed to be our. You should know better than anyone. When it comes to justice, the truth doesn't matter. What matters is what the court decides. Our father is Daimyo now. He alone commands the army of 1,000. That number comes up a lot. They're preparing to mobilize as we speak. If Jiro doesn't commit Harakiri tonight, they'll come for his head. That's a lot to take in all at once. Even if I believed you, Uncle Jiro would never open his stomach for the Shogun, let alone our father. But if what you're telling me is true, it will be a total massacre. Did you really travel all the way from the first castle just to tell me everyone I care about is going to die? Strategy was never your strong suit, but I know you're smarter than that. I've come here to, to deliver a gift. The Dragon's Fame. Our great-grandfather's sword. The blade of... Iaido? Yeah, Iaido the Dragon. Rumored to be forged from... The iron bones of the god dragon, Tatsuya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why go through all the trouble to bring it to me? Our father is a careful man. He knows what a military action against his brother would look like to the other families. It would put our position in jeopardy. Not to mention, well, even the Shogun himself can guarantee your safety. If it comes to that, or if it comes to that, in our father's words, he would prefer this whole matter be dealt with inside the family. Inside the family. Take the sword, kill the old man, and your pardon is guaranteed. We can be a family again. It's everything you've ever wanted. A family. Why not tell him yourself? Why me? Like you said, old man Jiro would never open his stomach for a father, but maybe. Knowing it's your life on the line, perhaps he would reconsider his position, and of course, if you can't convince him. You're the only person who can defeat him in single combat for whatever reason. I'm the only one who can kill Uncle Jiro, you mean, should it come to that. And if I refuse, then you and the old man can face down the army of 1,000 together, for all I care. The choice is yours. The Boken or the Blade? Mercy or lethality? Good or bad? Hmm. And I will walk. One thousand miles. Good or bad? I'm glad they're very direct. Cause I'm like it's good to let the player know up front this is the decision you're making because it really sucks when you make a decision that doesn't that seems very inconsequential. Um and it ends up being the bad decision, which I'm gonna make that. The dragon's fang, could it really be? Said to be forged by a Kitsune blacksmith 800 years ago. It fell into my great-grandfather's hands during the Kyosai Rebellion. Iaido used it to defeat all 333 members of the Kyosai clan in one night, if legend is to be believed. His victories earned himself the title Iaido the Dragon and elevated our family to what it is today. 
To take up the dragon's fang is to choose my father, the man who exiled me over Uncle Jiro, the man who raised me. It is my only chance to get back into my father's good graces, to one day become the dai daimyo of this clan, to make something of myself. And while Michiko believes it might be able to... I might be able to reason with Uncle Jiro, I know better. If I take up the sword, I'll have to kill Uncle Jiro, or I'll die trying. Choosing the sword commits me to the path of lethality. It puts me at an advantage. My strikes will kill my opponents, unlike using the Boken, which will only stun. Selecting the sword is choosing what is easy over what is right, and there are consequences for choosing the easy path. Oh, I like that. <sighs> Well, what do you guys think? Should I choose the easy path or the more difficult path? I think I'm going to take a little swig. Choose the best path. Does that mean choose the Boken? Being good is actually hard mode. I do like that. I think the best path is the easy path, because I'm streaming. <laughs> Difficult? <sighs> Why did I ask you guys when I, I knew I was going to want to do this anyway? I'm choosing the sword, fuck you. I've made my choice. I'm going to confront Uncle Jiro and reclaim my rightful place at my father's side. If what Michiko said is true, I don't have much time. I've got to convince Uncle Jiro to take his own life, or worse, I'll have to kill him myself. It's a straight shot down the hallway. Should be fast if I don't stop any of the side rooms along the way. Now let's hope everybody else is already in bed. There would be no use in trying to explain why I'm sneaking around at night with the dragon's fang, no less. I want to see something. Okay, nice accessibility. Uh, one suggestion, just a small one, just a small suggestion. Uh, make the font not look like this, or an option to make the font easier to read. Uh, I just have issues reading this type of font, <clears throat> personally. And I know a lot of people do, especially if you're, like, dyslexic. I don't know if I'm dyslexic. Uh... Bloody path, fun path. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hiro, I can't say I'm totally surprised. I hope you aren't planning on going anywhere, say, to visit Master Jiro. Step aside, Master Ohashi. I must see my uncle as soon as possible. I see, and that sword you've got, could it really be? There are rumors from Kurogawa, Kurogawa the first castle. Terrible rumors indeed. Your grandfather murdered. His sword gone missing, the dragon's fang. That and we've just found the guards at the south gate. Murdered. This will not do. You understand, I hope, that whatever the situation, we cannot not allow you to leave your quarters tonight. It's nothing personal. Listen to me. What I do tonight, I do for your good as well as mine. Old man Jiro will understand. In time, I believe, so will you. Ah oh, yes, I was afraid you'd say that. Katashi, Kiyoshi, keep young Hiro occupied as long as you can. I'll run ahead to warn the others. Hiro, try not to do anything. You'll regret. Hey, Ohashi, I'll see you around. Oh, let me turn help off. Ooh, bloody. Hope this is not Chris's blood. God damn it. I feel like I can turn the game up a little. Oh! I might turn it up a little. Unless it the, the volume is fine the way it is, but I, I think I'm going to turn it up a little. Barry sounded a little loud. Hello, ma'am. Uh. Oh. Did we already go in? That, that's where we came from. Right? 
Brave Katashi. I'll never forget how you stood up to Naginata when he stole Kiyoshi's... Ki... Ki... Kiyoshi's? Rice ball. Okay. Those were better times. That... Is that the same as Kiyoshi? That might be a typo. That might be a typo. Hello, man. No. Oh, I think I found a bug. Oh, yeah, I definitely found a bug. <laughs> hey, no! What is happening here? It's been a long time since I had to clean blood from these walls. I'd hope these days were behind us. This must be Michiko's handiwork. Little Hachido, I remember your first sparring match against Hisako. There was no contest. You were probably no match for my sister. It's a shame. Stout Koji. Remember when we were younger and you were so jealous of Yoshio and me for being a whole head taller? Then Uncle Jiro taught you to, to taught you the low cut stance and ruined it for all of us. Without you, I would have never learned how to jump. It seems Michiko had already learned that lesson. Young Hisako. You never hurt anybody. You could barely hold a sword, let alone fight. You didn't deserve to die this way. I will never forget you, and I'll never forgive Michiko for what she did. Hmm. Dare I go in here? Can I go in here? I don't think so. Fast Nobinito. You show me how to catch fish at the bottom of the river. You could always catch more than me. Did you hold back when you attacked me? Izanagi! Izanagi! My friend, just last week, we were under the maple tree, talking about our dreams of the future. I wish things could have been different. Do you all know the story of Izanami and Izanagi? It is uh, basically the Adam, Adam and Eve of uh, Japanese mythology. So, It doesn't end well. It's, it's not super great. <laughs> I've always heard the stories, but I never thought this would happen to us. Hey, buddy. Whoop! You get hit once, you die! Oh, do I have to do that all over? Oh, I sure do. The Dark Souls. Who killed me? Who killed me? The fire. I think the fire got me. I love the delayed splatter. Come here. Oh, sick! Okay. There's something going on with the doors. <laughs> Got him. There's a guy in here too. Toasty. I think, yeah, I think you can just catch fire. Squat. Masaki. I caught you climbing the cherry blossom trees last fall. You were chasing after some cat, foolish boy. When do I pet more cats? Got him. Oh! <sighs> Dark Souls ass game. Oh! 
I'm just gonna keep going. Why does this happen? See ya, Mayu. Thanks for the triangles. I picked the easy one. And yet, here I am, being bad at this game. I don't need to be in. Fuck. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well. Okay. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Don't catch on fire. Don't catch on fire. There we go. Alright. We're good. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> but if I somehow make it to the end of this demo, that'd be miraculous. Okay, why? I wonder if it's because there's an interaction thing right in front of the door that's causing it to fuck up somehow. Oops. It's weird. The doors, like, don't work. <laughs> Got him. Shit, dude! Shit! Yeah, pet. Okay. Where am I going? Where am I? I found a bug. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I have the bug report open. <laughs> I'll report it later. I need to... I need to go over here. There we go. We made it to 20 deaths! What a wonderful time this has been. Whoa, 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 Catch him on fire. Do it. Okay. Yeah, there's something fucky with the uh, interaction with the doors at the end of the hallways. Definitely. Got him. All right. This guy's tricky. Ah! I got the guy, and then the guy behind me got me. Um, let's let's uh let's see. Oh! Wonderful. I could slash the dead guys again. Sick. Got him. Oh, fire. Got him. 
No! I parried that! I parried it! I parried it! You saw and I parried it! Oh. Well. Honestly, a good way to promote a game is being bad at it. Because you're probably watching me like, Spoonie, I could do better. And it makes you want to play it. So you can show how much better I am. Or how much better you are. I parried! I got my... I got my shit toasted. That's how the, the, the Tumblr mobile ads work, yes. Honestly, what made me want to play Inscription was watching Vinny Vine Sauce be bad at Inscription. I was like, dude, you're fucking- you, you're- no! Why would you do that? You dumb idiot! I'm gonna play this game! Oop. What? Ah! Fire! Shit! Ah! So maybe I'm being bad on purpose, you just don't know. Maybe I'm actually, like, really good at this game. You don't know. Oh. Why do you have the best range ever? Am I trying to big brain? Yeah. It's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm not bad at this. Ah! Okay, maybe I am. <laughs> Guys, this is the easy route. Yeah, no, let's get to 30 deaths. There's like a cooldown on the death thing, so like I feel like you guys can't even keep up. All right, I swear I won't die super fast anymore. Probably closer to 30. Is it a 30 second cooldown? I thought it was like 10. I thought I made it 10. Because I didn't want people like saying I died at the same time and it being inaccurate, but you know. Will you follow me now? Maybe that's not a cat that follows me. Master Shoji, I often saw you in council with Uncle Jiro beneath the cherry blossom tree. He has very few friends, but I know he counted you among them. Bitch, 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 bitch. No. Bitch. Wow. <laughs> Cook him. Well, if I get to 30, I'll be like, okay, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> you guys should play it instead of me. I can't get through the third hallway.
This is why I don't play uh, Souls Likes. No! It won't let me go through the door! I was trying to leave! I was trying to get out! Police! Once you enter a room, it won't let you leave. It's like, no, you have to kill these bitches. Christ on a cracker. Ah! Dark Souls boss fog. Fuck! Speed running this. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I need to stop, like, doing mind games. There we go. Got him! I got that guy. Finally. Can I go in there? Can I go in there? No! No, I think that's just investigating the bodies. Optional bosses offer an extra challenge. Defeat them to unlock powerful combat techniques. Is this an optional boss? Hiro, what a disappointment you turned out to be. Master Jiro always had the utmost confidence in you, but me? Oh no, I'd never believe it. The exiled son of a coward, how could you aspire to greatness? You killed Shoji, Botan, Ko, Makoto, Genko, even blind old Toru, didn't you? You've killed nearly all of your friends. Do you think that makes you powerful? HA! I bet you hadn't even considered the possibility they let you live because they cared about you. Because whatever your reasons for betraying them, they understood their lives were forfeit the moment you chose to pick up that sword. I th don't think that's how you spell forfeit. I don't... I think you put a GH in there when there wasn't supposed to be. Pathetic. Behind this door, you'll find a man, a man unburdened by such compassion. In fact, I think you'll find him right lively. If you choose to face him, he will not hold back the way your friends did. Sure, you could just keep going, avoid the extra challenge. However, if you manage to defeat him, it may be well worth the risk. He may teach you something you can't learn from anybody else, or he'll cut you in half. My only regret is that I lack the strength to kill you myself. Just know. If you somehow survive the night, our vengeful- Vengeful is spelled wrong, definitely. Spirits will curse to the ends of this earth. Wherever you go, we'll be with you. You will not know one day of peace for the rest of your miserable life. This I guarantee. Now get it over with. I would like to rest with him. I only have one cup of tea left. left. Should I have some now? Yeah, it's like a bonfire. I see. Can I kill him? Yeah. <laughs> well then, who do we have here? Could it really be? Are you the fabled great-grandson of Iaido the dragon in the flesh? And that blade of yours, if my eye doesn't deceive me, that's the dragon's fang itself. Forged from the very bones of War Dragon himself some 800 years ago, give or take. I suppose I could put my plans to hunt the Tengu around here on hold for now. Funny, you don't look much like a dragon. More like a little bird. But what the hell, you're here, aren't you? My name is One-Eye, the low blood, and my sword was made for killing dragons. Ow. The- this is the easy route! Ow! Thirty-one. I'm gonna try one more time. 
<laughs> I don't think I have a chance. It's not letting me in anymore. This woman is in the way. The game was like, nah, you're not good enough. Let me in. I've always heard the stories. Oh, you, you say the same thing. There we go. Fuck! M maybe I can parry. Maybe I can parry. <laughs> you guys are just having fun with you died. <laughs> That's fine. That's what it's for. Ah! Okay. Uh, this is why when people are like, Spoonie, you should play uh, Dark Souls. I'm like, are you insane? Have you seen how bad I am at video game? Can I run past him before he swings? Good question. Let's find out. Ah. People be like, you know, in Elden Ring and Dark Souls, you just have to you just have to find the right opening and then you, you you can do it. You just have to find the right rhythm. And I'm like, do you know how little patience I have for that sort of shit? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> I have no patience. None! I have less patience than most people. So when people are like, It took me two hours to fight this boss and it was so satisfying! I'm like, I would have given it up at ten. I would have given up at ten. I have no chance. I have no chance. I have none. That's why I play on easy. That's why I play on easy on everything. <laughs> All right. I I'm giving up. <gasps> I made the right decision to give up. Why does the pet command, like, only come up? Ow. Are you mad at me for giving up and petting a cat instead? This is what I came here for. These cats love to be pet. Did you- th you threw the fuck toast at me, that's what happened. Me! Ow. Uncle Gito's room. It's locked! Troublesome old bastard. Never makes it easy, does he? Hmm. The blacksmith should have a spare key. The fastest way to the blacksmith is through the kitchen. Should be easy enough. The hard part will be convincing her to give me the spare key. You know... If I heard... That my nephew was going to kill me... On his way to Leprechaun. kill me. If I heard this, I would lock my door too. What the fuck is happening? Lovely night, isn't it? Sometimes I go up on the rooftops to play go, to to play go, P go the game with the Tengu. But tonight I only watch the sky. The Perse Perseids, they're called. God, how the stars do fall. I, lo I look for blackness, holes in the heavens. You're going for the blacksmith now, aren't you? To get the key to Jiro's room. If you could find your way to the rooftops, you can avoid everyone looking for you in the kitchen. But watch out for the Tengu. You may think them no more than myth now, but when you taste their steel, you may revise your beliefs. Only have one cup of tea left. Yeah.
All right. Let's go in the kitchen, though. Kill them all! Kill them all! No! I shouldn't have done this. Okay. Ow. Play Pokemon Go with <laughs> Grandpa. I gotta go to the rooftops. Why can't I go back? Did I break it? No! I think I broke it. I have two bugs to report. I broke it! I already listened to him, and then I saved where he was. <sighs> Unskippable cutscene. You're cool. Keep cooking. Oh no! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Shuichi. He always told the best jokes. What was my favorite? The one about the. Never mind. Are you reg having regrets, Hiro? I like how his name is Hiro and his uncle's name is Jiro. <laughs> oh. Can I rest with you? Little Hiro Yuki, if you're here, that can only mean Sanjiro Sensei's room is locked and you're heading for the blacksmith to get the master key. Between you and me, I say she's best avoided at all cost. Stay on her right side if you can. You must be very cautious of that one. There are many rumors about her, but little substantiated fact. Some believe her to be a rogue Kitsune warrior trapped in human form for meddling in the affairs of man some 800 years ago. Whatever, the truth really is. No, she's just as proficient wielding a sword as she is making one, if not more so. Between you and me, I say she's best avoided at all cost. Stay on her right side if you can. Best get on with it. You haven't got all night. Yeah. Oh, baby. Baby. Like the dark remorsefulness of looking at the bodies and reminiscing on memories of the person you just killed. It's a little fucked up. <sighs> Oh, no! Oh! I didn't see you there! Oh, the camera didn't lead me that way. Uh. This house is full of corpses. How can you sit there and drink tea? Perhaps... We're having a party. We're having a party here. Naginata, quick bastard. All, all that speed behind him, and he's and still slower than me. Ah, fool of yourself, Hiroyuki. You asshole. There's a cat for me to pet. And now your dead body's in the way of me petting this cat. How fucking dare you? How 
Fucking dare you. Tifa is dead. We're not playing Tifa. Oh, Tengu. Hello, monks. Woo! Well, this might be a bad idea. <laughs> Tifa dies?! Tifa was constantly dying when I was playing. Yeah, that's what a Tengu is. It's a- it's a bird person. Ah. Uh... What? When did that happen? Hold on, I'm getting messages. Why? No. Oh, the guys in the foreground can- I see. Soup. I see. What, you want soup? I gotta go in here. Ah! I'm so bad at parrying. It's all about the timing. It's all about the timing. You just have to get the timing- Ah! Oh, Perry the Platypus? Like, from that show? Oh, this is so funny! My filter's starting to disappear, sorry. I can't tell you how many times people have called Perry from, uh... Mixed feelings. Uh, Perry the platypus, and I'm like... Mm. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset. From what I've seen of when people play, like, Souls-like games, this is just how they play. This is just how the game is supposed to be. Just doing something over and over and over like this. This is just how it is. And I'm like, y'all have fun doing this? I'm not judging, but I am at the same time. <laughs> You have fun? I mean, to be fair, I have fun grinding in Pokemon. So... It's a good time. What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you people? Well, you should- you should, uh, wishlist this game. Oh! Got him. Okay. Ah! Oh no, the cook got me. You do it until you do it right. Somebody uh recommended Zenless Zenless? Not not Zenless Zone Zero, that's a different game. Uh what's it called? Neon White. That one. Uh a while ago. And then I recently had my friend who knows my taste in video games uh, say, I'm playing Neon White. It's really cool, but I think you'd hate it. And I was like, why? And he was like, well, because it's the kind of game, it's like a speed running game. You just have to perfect like your movements and stuff and just do it over and over and over. And I'm, I was like, yeah, you're right. I would hate that. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way! No! I'll pet the cat to make myself feel better. There we go. 
There is one, like, speedrun game uh, I'm interested in. Uh, I probably still won't like it, but the aesthetic is weird, and I like that. Clown meat. Have y'all heard of clown meat? I want to play clown meat. Thanks for the water. I'm gonna pause for a second. Like, that's a speedrun game. Like, the, the point of that is, like, to see how fast you can beat each level. Which is fun. I like that. To a degree. To a degree. Like, you could still go to the next level even if you don't get the gold or whatever. Uh, let me actually, uh... Can I rest here? Have your tea. Oh, I found another bug! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Clown meat. <laughs> I tried to jump! Why didn't it save? I rested! <laughs> Oh, they- they- They ganged up on me. No. Got him. Got him. Okay, it worked that time. And now I can't go up the ladder because old man is in front of the ladder. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ma'am? Uh oh. Maybe I could just keep going left. Yeah, it seems. With investigating stuff, there seems to be a bit of an if issue if, uh, there's something to investigate in front of something else I can investigate. Cycle interact target button. It might have one, I just don't know it. Nah, I don't think it does. <clears throat> Wait, is this just a big circle? Guess we can go up here. Ah, another way to go to the rooftops. Okay, this is gonna suck. Okay. I could just dodge him. I swear to God, I jumped. I swear to God, I jumped. It'd be nice if I could go up this ladder, wouldn't it? But I can't! Because there's a motherfucker in front of it. Ah, he got my ankles. Just like Dark Souls. Falling into a pit. Just like Dark Souls. You could, like, accidentally softlock yourself if you just have, 
like a body in front of like both of the ladders. Can you imagine? That would suck. And I keep going through the door. I'd rather get my head cut off than my ankles slashed. Yeah, when you get your head cut off, cut off, it's just like, boop, you're dead. Automatically dead. Immediate, like, just quick. You know, now that I think about it, I wonder how quickly you actually die when you get beheaded. These are things I think about. Alive for a moment. That would be so trippy because your, like, brain is in your head. These are, like, weird, morbid thoughts I have. Bye. Alright! Help! Help! Help me! I- I'm gradually just gonna lose my mind because I came into the stream already losing my mind a little bit. Just a little bit. Not over this game. Over... <laughs> just... Just... Just- just one of those days. Just one of those days. Where you're just like, whoa! Wah! What weighs heavily on your mind? Oh, you know. The horrors. Fuck you. <laughs> Now imagine getting beheaded. <laughs> Let's just end it there. <laughs> imagine getting your head cut off. And like for for a few seconds, you are still alive in your head. In your in your brain. Why didn't that kill you, motherfucker? It's you are completely detached from the rest of your body. How does that feel? How would that feel? Oh, you bitch! Trying to- <laughs> I'd stay alive as a head forever. Hell yeah. Wow! Ah, you bitch! I need to dodge right after that. I think if my head were detached from my body, the first thing I'd think of after Ow is being confused about seeing my own body not flipped like in a- Not flipped like in a mirror. Oh. Oh, I got a tip, and then I l didn't see it because I went into the other room. Oh, I need to find tea. Dirty Judo, a charcoal burner's son. We all called old man Jito crazy for letting him train with us. If he hadn't, maybe he'd still be alive. A long life eating gruel is better than no life at all. I see, that's how I find tea. But I need a, a place to have tea. Yutaka, Yutaka the cheat. He performed an illegal lunge during his last match with Naginata. Good thing he didn't try it on me. I didn't know I was getting a tea from that. Spoilers for what? Now I'm curious. No! I have no idea where I just headed. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Oh wait, no, I can have tea with him. I, w I was gonna go have tea with him. Let me rest. 
You crank that soldier boy. Ah! Please. Ah. All right. <laughs> I guess we're not going back to that guy. Can I go here? No, because there's a guy in front. Oh, wait. There we go. <gasps> this little kitty right next to that behead beheaded. The beheaded. Okay, now I can't go back in the room. Why? 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 That's where I could save. No! Oh, I can have tea with you here. Should be some hidden around here somewhere. I don't have any tea. I gotta go investigate dead bodies for tea. Bro, I can rest anywhere? Oh, this is a game changer, actually. I didn't realize this. <laughs> Hello. Hiro. In deep mokuso. I've had a vision. Whether it was the future that is, or that is, or the future that may be, I cannot say. The dragon's fang shattered, the first castle in rubble, black, red, blue, dance in the air. The blood of a thousand men, nothing. Above it all, the god dragon Tatsuya, released from his iron prison, and his breath brings famine, plague, and death, and his teeth are like spears, and he gleams as a sword without a sheath. And he is war. A war to last 1,000 years. Tell me this isn't the dragon's fang before me. Tell me you aren't feeding Tatsuya, hero. I beg of you. Tell me you will not feed my soul to the dragon. Say something. Damn you, say something. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Kitty, K kitty. Yeah, I think there should be a, a button to toggle through interactables. Cause I want to pet that fucking cat. Brother, you. I like how the kanji, whenever it says pet, the kanji says uh, neko. Uh, hold on. No, go back. Blech! Where'd that cat go? Alright. Did I ever play the final station? What is that? I don't think I've heard of that one. Where did I go? I'm gonna try to fight you. Is that all you do? No! Kitty? Kitty? Kitty. Spoopy side scrolling train game on Steam. That sounds fun. Final station. You can link the Steam page. I'm all for, uh, Oh. I don't know where to go next. I'm gonna be real. I can't... Because on the, the, the rooftops... I 
saw, like, everywhere I could go on the rooftops. Oh. I think this is the game telling me to stop. I think I somehow made it to the blacksmith. Oh. Oh no, I can't even pause. This game? Okay. Let's talk about this. I love this game's aesthetic. I love it. The gameplay is actually really good. Um, and I love that you can pet cats. There are a lot of bugs, but it's still in development, so I'll forgive it. Um, so... It's... Honestly, gorgeous. It's very... And, and like, for, for the folks who like this kind of game where it's like you just gotta trial and error it, I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. Um, Definitely type exclamation point pet in the chat. Well, I'll do it for you. You get a little Steam link and you can wishlist it on Steam. I think these devs deserve all of the all the support that they're getting for this because it is a very lovely aesthetic. It's a very it's a gorgeous game. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued that the demo had like a split pathway. Um couple things, and uh, I said them throughout the thing, but I'll say them at the end here, uh, because I'm sure there's probably some skipping through happening to, like, if the devs are watching the VOD or watching the this, this stream right now. Um, so, make some sort of button that uh, goes through the interactables nearby. Uh, to toggles through? No, scrolls through. Uh, the interactables nearby because there is the issue of if there is somebody like a dead body falls in front of a ladder or something and is investigatable well now you can't go up that ladder that's an issue um, and you can soft lock yourself if that happens um, other thing is the doors at the end of the hallways I am not sure at what point <laughs> you're supposed to be, like, transitioned to the next scene. Um, I think it's before the door, from what I could tell, because I would be, like, three feet away from the door, and I would suddenly be in the next scene, and sometimes I feel like I would pass the trigger to get me to the next scene. And, uh, I mean, I did. I did pass the trigger, and I just kept going, and I fell off the map. That... I'm wondering how you can, like, you could just amend that by just putting the trigger, like, just right where the door is, maybe? There there needs to be something done about that, I think. As far as the combat goes, it's solid. It's solid. Um, but if anybody else has any suggestions for uh, what they think of the game so far, what what did you guys think? What did you guys think? I like the petting the cat thing, but, but that's because I'm me. Uh, and I like cat. <laughs> that that has been my favorite part of the game, and um, of course, like the art. Being an artist myself, I just I just love the aesthetic. It's beautiful, um, and you guys should check it out. Like check out the the trailer too, because uh, that really showcases like all the all the game. The art style is really cool. Yeah. I do like that you get to, uh, if you have some tea, you can rest and you get a little checkpoint. I think that's really clever and that really um, lends itself both to like the aesthetic of the game and also like it, the the gameplay because it is a you you kind of want a lot of checkpoints with the way that the gameplay goes in this. <clears throat> it seemed unclear as to how we were supposed to counter counter certain enemies. The thing is. There is a way to dodge and parry, uh, and I do not have <laughs> fast enough reflexes to remember to do those things. So I think that's more on me and less on the gameplay. <laughs> I think you just have to dodge and find an opening and hit. Um, 
I am just bad at video game. I'm just bad at like quick paced stuff like this. Um, but it's very cool. It's very cool. And uh, you guys should check it out. So, because it has just imploded like this, and I wasn't sure where to go any anyway, I think that is a sign that I should probably spin the wheel and we should do a short showcase kind of deal. I do have many things on the wheel and I have many, many things uh, available. Uh, but before we do that, I say we go on a break. I say we go on a break.